السلام عليكم معكم دكتور صلاح كامل اليوم راح نتكلم عن ديزيز او زيتون كارير كل شيء نعرف اول وي ستارت ذا اوبجكتيف اوف اور ليكشر وي ماست انديرستاند وات از ذا بيزك اناتومي اوف ذا بانكرياس اند ذا فيسيولوجي سم نوتس اباوت ذا كونجينيتال انوملي سم نوتس اباوت ذا تروما is either penetrating or blunt abdominal trauma and the most important subject and is the most uh, important uh, clinically is uh, pancreatitis whether it is acute or chronic pancreatitis okay right. number two sir number three the pill is the closely related to the spleen okay the head is closely related to the duodenum And this anatomical position explains many symptoms the patient can be present with pancreatic disease. For example, when we discuss the pathognomonic presentation of disease of the pancreas, it's backward. Why? Because it is retroperitoneal and it is, uh, the pain is referred to the back. When we discuss about the complication of spleen, it is an injury to the pancreas. And to the tail of the pancreas. When we discuss a trauma, whether it is penetrating or uh, blunt abdominal trauma, it is highly vascular. It can cause hemodynamic instability. When we uh, ask about the associated disease, yeah, disease of the pancreas can be associated with disease of the duodenum. Okay. So this anatomical position is a very cardinal, a very important to anticipate or to know the. The disease, or how can the pancreatic disease can be present? Endocrine gland, and in secret we know the secret insulin from beta cells, 20% secret glucagon, and some of the remaining can secret somatostatin. So it is both exocrine and endocrine. Okay, how can we investigate a pancreatic disease? Regarding the exocrine type, we can uh, by the level of the enzymes that secrete from the pancreas. For example, lipase, trypsin, elastase, chymotrypsin, amylase, and so on. Okay. Uh, features of the shape of the pancreas can be uh, uh, imagined by the ultrasound, computerized tomography, MRI, uh, ERCD, which is an Uh, endoscopic retrograde coronary pancreatography and endoscopic ultrasound, and we discuss it. Regarding the the most important, but is uh, the, the least important. Sorry, the congenital anomaly it consists of many congenital anomaly. In uh, summary, it is either a disease of the cystic fibrosis, where there is a disease and the increase in the concentration of the fluid and can uh, or pancreatic division. Division it is co uh, it cannot be. Uh, correlated or cannot be uh, uh, united. Well, annular pancreas, by which the pancreas is uh, found around the the duodenum and cause uh, gastric acid obstruction and can cause with repeat vomiting, especially in pediatric age group. Injuries of the pancreas is very important. Where the pancreas can be injured in two types of uh, either penetrating or blunt uh, abdominal trauma. Blunt trauma is infrequent. Why infrequent? Can one tell me why it is, it is infrequent to, to be present? Because it is covered anteriorly by the stomach and posteriorly by the by the vertebrae and by the aorta and by the viscera. It is not uh, very near to the abdominal wall, so it can be uh, infrequent to be presented. The injury to the pancreas usually is a um, very major, a very um, major injury. You associate it with other injuries, for example, injury of the other viscera. Which one? Duodenum, yes, uh, especially the liver, uh, the spleen, and occasionally force for the blood to the bigger caused by seat valve against the, the vertebral column can uh, be present with uh, the blunt abdominal. How can we diagnose the uh, blunt abdominal trauma? Usually, the patient presented with uh, abdominal pain, uh, with typical presentation, and associated with the gastric pain, and uh, the, uh, then he developed features of the Uh, uh, leakage from pancreatic fluid and can be presented with uh, diffuse peritonitis. The clinical presentation is quite deceptive. 
careful serial assessment with high index of suspicion can be to be required. To document the diagnosis, we can send the patient for computerized tomography to know the enlargement of the pancreas. Uh, treatment usually is supportive treatment. Any suspicion of infection is usually start with supportive treatment. Means supportive, it is no need for immediate surgery. We start with admission to the hospital, intravenous fluid, null by mouth, and we start to investigate because there is no need for a rush or hurry to the surgery. Then, if we uh, the patient is highly suspected acute pancreatitis, we send the patient for the uh, investigation from the tomography and the RCT. And operation is very important. Note is indicated when there is a disruption of the pancreatic duct and need surgery. Otherwise, they, they need a conservative treatment. Penetrative injury, it is a need injury. For example, stab wound, for example, a uh, uh, high velocity missile, need an urgent exploration with hemostasis with the closed drainage. These are three cardinals here urgent surgery, hemostasis, and closed drainage. Uh, it is adequate for minor injury. The gland may be transected and accordingly do the surgery. Uh, for example, this distal pancreatic tumor we remove the injured distal part of the pancreas. If damage truly be confined to the head, we can do hemostasis and the drain. If, however, a severe injury, severe only in severe pancreatic head injury, there is a uh, removal of pancreas and the duodenum. Uh, pancreatic or the uh, is maybe uh, is very rare to be uh, to be seen in our practice. It's very important to, um, to concentrate about the iatrogenic injury. What does it mean by iatrogenic injury? Iatrogenic injury is my human made or by doctor made or by medical staff. Can we injure the, the pancreas? Yes, we can injure during supplementation. Uh, we discuss it later. Uh, uh, we can injure it by the during surgery, like build up two gastrectomy. So, gastric surgery can cause a pancreatic injury. Inoculation of uh, islet cell. During pancreas, uh, uh, or a periampullary uh, or ampullary injury, bleeding from centrotomy from the ERCT, which is at the removal of the or diagnosis of the common bile duct, because the common bile duct with the pancreatic duct they drain the same uh, ampulla of water on the same center. And so we can injure the pancreas during periampullary uh, surgery or ampullary excision during the ERCT. Fistula, what is mean by fistula? In the caption, my fistula. Fistula is abnormal communication between two epithelial surfaces. For example, pancreas can be injured by trauma or by acute or chronic pancreatitis, and the, the fluid or the pancreatic fluid can be drained outside the, uh, uh, the outside. For example, pancreatic cutaneous fistula, pancreatic enteric fistula, and so on. Acute pancreatitis. This is very, very, very important subject. Why? We face it a lot. And we have a note that common in our practice is a very common in your examination. So you must concentrate about acute pancreatitis. From the, this name, acute means earlier presentation or a short period. Pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas. It's an acute condition. Presented with abdominal pain, usually caused by intrapancreatic activation of enzymes. If we return back to the physiology, all pancreatic enzymes is proteolytic enzymes secreted from the pancreas in inactive form, reached to the duodenum, converted into active form. So. When there is activation of pancreatic enzyme inside the duct, can cause pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis. So it is a premature activation of pancreatic enzymes in the pancreas. Anything that injures the SNR cells and impairs the secretion of the granules, cause irritation, cause acute pancreatitis. Then and inflammatory mediators secreted, reach to the circulation, systemic complication, hemodynamic instability, secondary bacterial, 
inflammation or bacteremia, acute vein with complications, acute respiratory distress syndrome, pleural effusion, and so on, lead to the what is called DIC, uh, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, or uh, in, uh, and more uh, septic shock, and so on. So it is a, uh, it is a very life threatening condition if we cannot diagnose it early uh, during any. Could be mild and could be severe. So, in mild form, there is minimal organ dysfunction reached to 80%, and mortality is 1%. Severe form here yeah, characterized by severe inflammatory process, severe pancreatic necrosis, severe systemic inflammatory response syndrome, with, uh, and with uh, multi organ failure. Those who have severe attacks, the mortality can reach to the 20 to 50 percent. So the mortality in mild form is one person. Mortality in severe form, 20 to 50 percent. About one third of this occur in early phase of the attacks from the cause of mortality by the uh, from the multi-organ failure, and with death occur in the first week of from the vegetative with septic complications. Causes? What cause? the intrapancreatic uh, stimulation or activation of the fat in our In our society, the most common cause is gallstone. In Western countries, the most common is alcoholism. Other uh, causes like trauma, post-ERCP, following biliary surgery, periampillary tumor, and I'm talking about the periampillary tumor, the tumor of the pancreas, drugs like corticosteroid or the uh, some uh, thiazide diuretic or, or uh, estrogen, hyperparathyroidism, and these are. It is uh, very important to know that there is uh, a cause which is an iatrogenic or idiopathic, sorry, idiopathic cause we cannot know. Viral infection, mumps, sexual injury can cause mass pumps, uh, pancreas. How can they present? Depend on the severity of the presentation. The most common we, uh, we know it is a mild presentation. Can be the most important is the gastric pain or upper abdominal pain or the chest pain. The pain is have a part of the features. We know all the criteria of pain. So the pain is colicky or dull in your it's dull in nature. Okay. Mild or severe is severe in severity. Okay. May maximum severity within minutes. So the patient shouting from pain with a short period. So a severe presentation. Okay, constant, refractory to any site or any analgesia, and it is radiated to the back. Okay, there is radiation to the to, uh, to the back in 50% of the patient. Some patient may be radiated by sitting or leaning forward. The patient is stooping or leaning forward. It may can be mimic most cause of acute abdomen. This is one of the presentation or differential diagnosis of acute abdomen. Further symptoms, nausea, some potting, vomiting, erection. On examination, this all details can be presented with a, a, a patient who is shouting from pain, who is stooping, and then it, uh, who has a gravely ill, profound shock, can be with, with toxicity and confusion. Tachypnea is very common, tachycardia is very usual, and hypotension from where? From pain, and uh, neurogenic shock, and hypotension from the Hypopolymer shock. Body temperature could be normal or could be even subnormal by frequently rising in stomach. It depends on the. Okay. The patient reveals a mild distension, ileus, and rarely ascites, shifting tenderness. Mass can be seen in the, the gastric pain when the patient is facial incantation, gardening in the, uh, in the, in the upper, upper abdomen, marked sometime, sometimes, sometimes, where with respiratory complaints, uh, pleural effusion, 10 to 20 percent of the patient. Uh, pulmonary edema, pneumonia, and other presentations. It's high index of suspicion to know the uh, to suspect a cause of pancreas. If there is differential, you know, any a cause of acute abdomen can present with acute pancreatitis. For example, biliary disease, biliary colic, intestinal obstruction, mesenteric ischemia, myocardial infarction, abdominal aortic aneurysm, or rupture. Distal aortic dissection, peptic ulcer disease, uh, all other uh, differentiators, and so on. How can we evaluate 
or start to evaluate the case. The most important when we suspect a patient with acute pancreatitis and even suspicion, I even suspicion of acute pancreatitis, we must admit to the patient to the hospital. No rule of outpatient treatment in patient with acute pancreatitis. Okay. When we admit the patient in the hospital, and we'll discuss it later about the line of management, we send the patient about certain investigation to know which type of, uh, whether this is uh, related to the case or not. But the most important and is the cleaning test is amylase, although it is not specific. But we can see the patient for, uh, with serum amylase, more than three times rise than normal of digestive of patient Okay. Enzymes, other lipases, more, more specific. Uh, acute or chronic alcoholism, we, we found hyperthyroidism. Renal failure, increased renal uh, indices, for example, blood urea and serum creatinine. Okay, increased lipase, more sensitive case is serum, uh, which is more sensitive than serum. Other inflammatory markers, for example, uh, uh, serial acuprosine, interleukin 6, interleukin 8, also pathogen. ALT, liver enzymes, uh, can be uh, more than three normal in gold stone Depending on the severity, in severe form we found increased level of calcium, increase in the white blood cell, leukocytosis, increase in blood urea nitrogen, increase in uh, decrease in hematopoiesis, or increase in the sugar dependent on the, we sent the patient for radiological evaluation. We found the X-ray, we found um, an ileus. Why it is ileus? When there is an inflammation of the of the uh, pancreas, there is a and like paralysis of the nearby small bowel, we call it sentinel lobe or small bowel area. We can the patient for send the patient for ultrasound and CT scan. We may show enlarged edematous pancreas, stranding, abscess, fluid collection, uh, hemorrhage uh, to the pancreas on cytosine. MRI and uh, MRT we can show a fluid collection and uh, we can diagnose when. Then we send the patient for CT scan. This is a feature of CT scan who showed an edematous pancreatitis for the information only. Other gallstone pancreatitis can be by ERCP. We show a normal pancreatic which is dilated pancreatic. This is a dilated pancreatic death and can diagnose an, a gallstone pancreatitis. The morbidity and mortality is highest if the necrosis is present. So we need a dual CT. Uh, to document the prognosis. As I tell them, the prognosis. Yeah, I need prognosis. We know that is either severe pancreatitis or mild pancreatitis. These are a prognostic criteria, not diagnostic. A diagnostic color. Diagnostic. We send the patient clinical. We suspect. Send the image ultrasound, serum amylase, serum lipase, white blood cell. We send. We suspect of acute pancreatitis. Not the rest of the CT. Showing the rough. No, the image is toward. Improvement or toward deterioration. This is by certain criteria. These are many criteria. Many criteria. A disease, B, many criteria. Ma'anata, there is no one is superior to that. The most common popular who are rational criteria. Barogam in the home, yeah, I mean, Mukulish Mohem or Mukulish Dakir, but what are rational criteria in the Makam Dali? Aku Apache score, a quick physiology score. CT index is, uh, يعني, uh, can be ignored and a minor score. Uh, less than 2 means 5%. Film is needed criteria موجودة. Film is more severe criteria. Clarity for medical legal aspect. Another um, uh, scale is the glass rock. The same finding and some investigation in containing a prognosis. Therapy. قلنا احنا المريض اي مريض يدخل suspected acute pancreatitis we must start with admission to the hospitals then supportive treatment which means supportive treatment means we don't rush for surgery there is no rule for emergency surgery in acute pancreatitis we need supportive treatment and the supportive treatment should be started synchronously يعني نبدي from the start with Nil by mouth, nil gastric tube, and aggressive volume repletion with intravenous fluid. Kill make aggressive shinamata. We start out of fluid. Why? Because pancreatitis 
sequestrate a lot of fluid from the uh, interstitial fluid to the pancreas to be edematous. It is account about six to eight liters lost during these few hours when there is inflammatory process. Again. So the patient presented which type of shock? Hypovolemic shock. Start. So need an aggressive intravenous fluid to replenish the intravenous line. And next we continue toward narcotic analgesia. Usually we start to relieve the pain with a narcotic analysis of the pain. There is no conclusive evidence that the morphine is deleterious. We can't do every narco because the patient present with severe regastric pain. And then uh, try to know the cause. If the cause is gallstone, we start to uh, treatment of the underlying cause. For example, treatment of the underlying cause with, uh, with ARCP and biliary uh, sphincterotomy. During few, uh, after a few days, we must follow our patient, either it is improvement or deteriorating. We know that if it is mild presentation, they uh, present with uh, low mortality rate, about 1% mortality. If it is high presentation, they develop a complication. How can we anticipate the complication? How can we suspect the complication by the non response to our supportive treatment? Okay. What Expected complication, for example, necrotizing pancreatitis. Okay, can produce increase, increase in the mortality and morbidity. Z doses, suggestive of persistent pain on chronic high amyloid level. Cyst may become infected, as cyst nepsis will be inflammatory process, rupture, hemorrhage, and, and asymptomatic could be asymptomatic or could be presented with an increase in abdominal pain or abdominal mass can be especially into the gastric and can be. Uh, uh, sequestrate all, a lot of fluid inside the pancreas. Uh, infection, this cyst could be infected in many areas of the concern, abscess, pancreatic necrosis, cytosis, cholangitis, aspiration pneumonia, and so on. And due to uh, disturbances in fluid electrolyte balance, they presented with uh, severe intravenous uh, fluid volume depletion and presented with uh, acute tubular necrosis with acute renal failure, is a pre renal type of the uh, pulmonary could be presented with epilepsis, pleural effusion, pneumonia, and so on. Other metabolic disturbances, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia, and hyperglycemia. They present with stress ulceration and GIT bleeding. And the prognosis we know, uh, we have a prognostic criteria, and we change the patient for uh, a prognostic criteria where uh, there could be mild uh, representation in the 25 to 90%, then 10 to percent severe presentation, and we can be reached to a mortality of uh, with 50%. Chronic pancreatitis, uh, chronic pancreatitis is usually less common in our practice due to irreversible changes or destruction of the or the pancreatic dysfunction, and presented in mostly in alcoholic patients, and due to a lot of calamity process. The only presentation it is very it is uncommon in our practice because the decreasing level of alcoholism, but usually in alcoholic, there is severe pain, uh, intractable, weight loss, uh, disturbances in excretion of the pancreas, like here. Can present the most common is alcohol abuse, could be gallstone, hyperparathyroidism, and usually this uncommon in our practice. They present with persistent recurrent gastric pain, anorexia, nausea, constipation, fistula, steatoria. Evaluation with a high level of amylase and lipase, where plain x ray, uh, chronic pancreatitis uh, can be started with uh, uh, especially CT research shows a uh, calcification of the uh, complication by exocrine filament and exocrine. It's usually not concentrated, just uh, in your mind and the management. Usually, this is conservative, there is no cure or surgery indicated. Uh, cases there is limited role. In conclusion, pressure is very common. You will see in your practice 10 to 50 percent severe in the ICU admission, mortality rate in 50 percent in cases. I have a lot of home homework uh, to be discussed when the lectures. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa shukran lil